Didi, it feels so good to be away from the hustle and bustle of the city. There is so much more space to move around and the greenery is so pleasant and soothing to my eyes. I wish I could live in a place like this forever. Wow, this flower is so beautiful. Yes, this is beautiful. But I am not able to remember the name of this plant. Do you know what it's called, Hari? Yes, Grandma taught us about many plants. I am trying to recall the name, but I cannot. Actually, I know this plant has some medicinal use. Let me take this to Grandma. Look, Grandma, I found this flower out there. What are these called? Where did you find these flowers, Deepa? Grandma, we found these in the nearby playground. This is called flame lily or glory lily flowers. It's not just beautiful. It's actually very useful for treating arthritis, inflammation in joints and skin diseases in our traditional medicine. Wow, Grandma! This indeed is a very useful plant. Yes, Hari. Grandma, you know so much about different plants. You should write a book about it. <laughs> I don't need to do that. Our BMC already records all this information. BMC? What is that, Grandma? Those are Biodiversity Management Committees. You see, India is a land of great biological and cultural diversity. It is home to many tribal groups, farming and fishing communities like ours and nomadic groups. All these communities have been carrying a wealth of knowledge about plants and animals, which is passed on from one generation to the next. To conserve India's rich biological heritage, and the knowledge associated with it, every panchayat sets up a Biodiversity Management Committee or BMC. This is required under our Biodiversity Act. What do they do, Grandma? They make plans to ensure that biological resources in our region are used in such a manner that they can support us, our children and all future generations. The documentation of local biological resources in the People's Biodiversity Register or PBR is one such task of the BMC. What is this register, Grandma? It is a document that contains detailed information on which plants and animals exist in the region and whether they can be used as medicine, food or anything else that the local people know about. You know, plants and animals provide so many services to us. You might overlook those because you stay in a city and cannot observe them directly. But if you think about it, everything from food to medicines, cosmetics and even perfumes have been obtained by the biological resources around us for thousands of years. That is why it is crucial for knowledge about these resources to be recorded and preserved so we don't lose our connection with our own environment. How do they prepare these registers? Good question. This is not a one-person job. Many people contribute to preparing these PBRs along with BMC members. These could be local people or technical support groups that consist of knowledgeable people from forest, agriculture, horticulture, animal husbandry, fisheries, researchers, colleges, schools and NGOs. All these people bring their knowledge and unique perspectives which helps the BMCs in identifying plants and animals. Does that mean PBR focuses mainly on the biological resources? No dear. PBR focuses on many other things. Local people, their dependency on biological resources, biodiversity and people's knowledge including agricultural, animal husbandry practices, landscape and waterscape of the area. 
people's perspectives on management issues interesting what happens then let me explain pbr sets the foundation for the work of the local biodiversity management committee to start the preparation of this document the bmc has a meeting with local people and technical support groups after all they are the ones with all the knowledge so they discuss the objectives and purpose of the pbr next the members are trained to collect data then begins the actual exercise of collecting all the local information for this purpose they interview many people and also record their own observations whom do they interview grandma knowledgeable people like farmers veds hakims traditional knowledge holders the people who collect bio resources and other local people also members of the local panchayat and ngos each share what they know then the bmc verifies all the information and finally documents all this in the pbr so all traditional knowledge is supposed to be documented in the pbr no no the knowledge itself does not have to be documented only the people who hold traditional knowledge should be registered and it is entirely up to them how much information they want to share there are basically three options the first is people can provide only their area of expertise and contact details the second is if they wish they can document their specific knowledge but they don't have to and the third option people in the village can also provide names of persons they know who are perceived to hold traditional knowledge the ultimate objective is to protect this knowledge and practices the knowledge itself remains the property of its holders there are many steps involved in documentation process of people's biodiversity register step 1 sensitization of the public about the need for local pbr documentation then step 2 training of bmc members and interested public in collection of data on biological resources and traditional knowledge step 3 survey and other data collection step 4 analysis and validation of data step 5 preparation of the pbr step 6 digitization of information but grandma why do they need to document all this information my dear there are many benefits of documenting pbr benefits of documenting pbr promoting sustainable management of agriculture livestock fish forest resources to support livelihoods of local people creating opportunities to generate local income in return for access to biological resources and providing feedback on abs applications collecting information for preparing the biodiversity management plan to help address concerns relating to biodiversity and the impacts of adverse activities bringing science and local traditional practices together for the benefit and well-being of our society today and in the future grandma this was all about documenting what happens when these resources are used that's a very good question hari whenever some companies such as pharmaceuticals or cosmetic companies want to undertake research on any specific plant or other biological resource or if they want to use the plants for commercial purposes or hakims or veds want to use these resources or the traditional knowledge the bmc maintains the record of their use details on the quantity of bio resources harvested and fees collected are recorded by the bmc do you mean all information relating to biodiversity is recorded in the pbr yes absolutely correct pbr will not be a one time exercise of preparing printed books it is maintained electronically as well as updated regularly i told you it's a dynamic living document just like the constitution of our country 
How do you know so much about BMC and People's Biodiversity Registers, Grandma? I have always loved plants. When I was your age, I was fascinated about nature. I used to collect different leaves and herbs and bombard my mother with questions about them. I am lucky to have married somebody who carries similar interests as mine. Your grandpa is a horticulturist and now the chairman of our BMC. So, we still talk a lot about these things. And do you know, I even gave an interview for PBR in our village. Wow! We, we never, never knew, knew that. that. Grandma, I also want to learn about all these varieties of plants from you and become so knowledgeable that the BMC interviews me. I have an idea. Why don't we grow different medicinal plants in our backyard? <laughs> Why not? And who knows, when you come back to live in the village, maybe you will even become a BMC member one day.